Tonight's a Be Bold dinner that we get to put on in a great family's honor. We wanted to do something. We wanted to put on a little dinner tonight. We also want to do a little something special. You got friends out there? <laughs> what? You know, Be Bold has always been about doing something for others and being there for others and not just for us. I get to be here in downtown Ackworth, Georgia tonight at Henry's. Eat lots of lunches there, but tonight's gonna be even better. Tonight's a dinner and tonight's a Be Bold dinner that we get to put on in a great family's honor. The Dabney family has had an incredibly tough year. And tonight, because of your generosity, we get to come alongside them and hopefully brighten up their holidays, the Thanksgiving holidays and the Christmas holiday. We reached out to 10 community leaders and just said, hey, share with us some stories. <laughs> These people have been working with uh, members in the community for, I don't know, you know, several years, some of them. And we said, we want to know their stories. We want to know how we can help. And we want to know how we can just, you know, really love on them, no strings attached. And so uh, one of the stories we got was from North Cobb, from Coach Queen. It's been neat because Coach Queen and I go back a long time now. And it's neat, Coach Queen, how God's put you where he's put you. We always say, God's put you where he's put you for a reason bigger than you. Yes, sir. And maybe one of the reasons he put you at North Cobb was for this family. Yes, sir. Earlier this summer, I had a phone call from a gentleman, Charles Dabney, talking to him to me about his son that played football. He was actually at Kell at the time, but the mother had uh, had come down with cancer, and they were trying to figure out what the next move with the family. I think he was trying to. He knew that it could be bad, end up bad. So. Uh, the mother worked in that district and was able to get him to school. And the reason he came back to North Cobb because she wasn't able to do that anymore. She was getting treatment every day. She was having to quit her job. So uh, he came back to North Cobb and didn't meet the dad all summer because they were getting treatment um, all over the state. She battled three times. We beat it the first and second time. And the third time God called the home. So I say she still, we still beat it, you know? Just a real sad story. And then this, at the end of the summer, his mother, uh, passed away and I know just by meeting his dad and they have several children and I know they de were very dependent on both incomes like most of us are. The young man is, you know, he's overcoming that, he's fighting. I couldn't imagine being his age and losing losing a family member, especially your mother at that early of an age. And I'm just very thankful that we're part of a community that, you know, we can reach out to the church and say, we've got a family in need here and this is a crisis. and. We got people that, that are willing to help like you guys are and I appreciate it. Yeah, and I and I love that Be Bold, because the church was able to pay off a debt, we're able now to take that same money that was going to pay off a debt and really help people. Blessed tonight as uh, as we get to share dinner with them, God. Uh, we pray for conversations and friendships, God, because they are friends in our community. Blessed tonight, bless us feed our bodies in your name. Amen. Amen. I know it has been a crazy year for your family. And uh, I lost my mom a couple years ago and dad. And I just want y'all to know we, we, we understand and it's great to have family around. And uh, we wanted to do something. We wanted to put on a little dinner tonight, but we also want to do a little something special. So I'm gonna invite Coach Queen and Mr. Moody and Mike Lindemann. And we wanted to do a little something to brighten up your your Thanksgiving and Christmas, because I know when you walk through this season, it's hard. And so tonight, we just wanted to present you guys a check for $5,000 to go to your family. <laughs> just to tell you, tell you, you got friends out there that love you, and uh, we're pulling for you. The check, the check, the $5,000 check was amazing. I mean, I mean, I teared up and, you know, it was, it was great because, you know, financially it's just me now. You know, we didn't have life insurance, you know, we thought we was going to get through this, we thought we were going to beat it, you know. But this would be a great help in addition for our family, so a little relief of some stress. Back in 1997 when we started, we wanted to be a church for the community, not just a church in our community. And Be Bold's a great opportunity to do that. 
because we get to come alongside some incredible people and help make their lives a little bit better. And it couldn't happen without you.